Roxham back in after a week, I think it was, after, yeah, this guy decided to die on me. So, ended up getting the GTX 1660 Pro, no, 1660 Super. Stuck that in my system and it's all up and running. More power than before. It's over 9,000! Unbelievable. Tested a few games, Grand Theft Auto V, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Warframe. Warframe runs at max anyway, so didn't really matter about that. Now, although I have barely any followers, it is actually nice to be creating content again. So I'll probably get about 30 views on this video, maybe? ish i don't know but typical of the look that i have personally everything in gaming happened when my gpu died or when i say everything i mean there was a few games announced also there was gamescom which i didn't watch all of i saw a few games that are going to be released and a few updates to games that are already out but before gamescom happened there was one game which caught my attention which was black mist wukong and now because it's been about a week obviously i know that loads of people have covered this game already but, but i wanted to talk about it back then and I couldn't, so I have to talk about it now because this game's got me really excited. Now it's by a Chinese company I haven't heard of before. They're called, did I say Black Mist or Black Myth? It's Black Myth anyway, Black Myth Wukong. Okay, so it's a developer in China called Game Science Studio. And anyway, they released the gameplay as a way to get more people on board and help out make the game, which already looks fantastic, but they want more people to work on it. So anyway, because they released this footage out into the wild, obviously everyone got a look at it everyone got excited well, i say everyone i'm not sure how many people but it was a lot i saw everyone talking about it everyone being the few in my field of view anyway on facebook and stuff and from the graphics i've seen in this footage um hold on let me let me just move this camera i'll be right the way there we go um so yeah from the footage that i've seen this looks next gen it's gotta be um I can't remember if it actually says whether it's coming out on the PS4, PS5. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's PC only, actually, come to think of it. I'm pretty sure it's a PC exclusive. But anyway, gameplay that you're about to see is actually rendered in real time. So this will be the graphics of the game, or close to at least anyway, since it does actually say not final product or something like that. I can't remember what it was. You guys can see it. I can't really see it. Now, the way I like to describe games is by comparing them to other games. And what I took away from this is pretty much what everyone else has been saying. Um, well, at least the first game anyway, is Dark Souls. Now, the way I personally described it is Dark Souls and God of War mashed together into like a fine sprinkle. And then, yeah, just sort of powdered over Ghost of Tsushima. Now obviously I'm going to say Ghost of Tsushima because that's what I'm playing at the moment. Which also, by the way, side note, I will be back streaming that tomorrow night, which will be, hold on, Monday the 9th. So be there, follow me on Twitch. I'm still working on getting platinum for that game. Um, I haven't actually played it at all since my PC's been down. Could have played it, but I wanted to stream it and record it. Oh yeah, of course, just remember the call to action. Remember to, uh, Subscribe if uh, yeah you enjoy this video and want to see more of the content. Also, give me a like. That'd be awesome. But yeah, back to uh, Black Myth Wukong. If you have no clue who Wukong is, just type in Journey to the West. Also, see everything else that is inspired by that tale. So the two that I know about, uh, Dragon Ball, and a game that I absolutely loved, which was Enslaved. I highly recommend that game, by the way, if you haven't played it yet. And you're not too fussed about graphics. The story and the gameplay are the that's the, that's the main thing about that game, because of course it's actually quite dated now. Also, Wukong has shown up in multiple games such as Warframe, League of Legends, um, a game, it's a MOBA that I loved, which was Paragon. If you don't know what that is, search it. It's dead now <laughs> because of Fortnite. Epic killed off Paragon to let Fortnite succeed. But yeah, Wukong was in that game. Also, Mobile Legends, he's basically a bipedal mythic monkey that has a staff that can extend to an infinity, I said that word wrong, an infinite length. He can transform into different creatures and people. 72, I believe it is. He can just touch things and they'll freeze. Not like ice freeze, but like time freeze. And also you'll recognize this one from Dragon Ball, but he has a Nimbus, the cloud that he can basically ride on. But yeah, this game uses Wukong and it tells a tale that I'm not sure if it is Journey to the West, 
I guess we'll just have to find out if and when it gets released. The if, uh, not so much since, like I said, there's quite a lot of people that are excited about this game and hopefully a lot of people will jump on board helping to make it. Now evidently what got people excited about the game are two things, the graphics and the combat. The graphics you can just, you can see for yourself. Um, the combat though, this is where I was saying that Dark Souls and God of War have sort of blended together. Not in combat style, but in the game itself. So it's more like, it, well, what it looks like is that the bosses are kind of Dark Soulsy, and the combat against regular enemies is quite God of War-ish. I don't know how to, I'm rubbish at talking, I really am. But yeah, the combat. Not all the bosses. There's actually one boss which actually put the idea of God of War in my head, and it's this one. I mean, look how big that thing is. It's insane. Okay, that's really weird that I was just talking about God of War. I'm gonna leave a link to this Screen Rant article down below that I'm just looking at right now. Black Myth, Wukong's one-shot camera was inspired by God of War. What? Yeah, I'm just kind of looking up stuff on the game as I'm talking. <laughs> yeah, they do actually show you one full boss fight with this werewolf uh, thing. Now the guy that's actually making this game, he wasn't actually 100% happy about the fur on this creature, but to everyone else it was just, oh my gosh, this looks amazing, look at the fur. I mean seriously, look at the fur, it looks amazing. And what got me was the fire on the fur as well, how it sort of clung to the creature. And I'm pretty sure he like sort of pats it out and it actually goes out. That sounds really stupid, but. I always pick up on these little things and they really impress me all the time even though everyone else is probably like, yeah but they do that in so many games. Games never cease to amaze me. That's the point, yeah. I'm not sure how long this video is but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to play the rest of the video. The uh, trailer I mean, gameplay teaser, wait, what would you call it? Gameplay demo video thing. What I'll do is I'll leave a link to the video down below, so yeah. I'm sorry if this is a short one not used to making YouTube videos. I usually just do playthroughs and then just slap them on YouTube once I'm done. So yeah, please don't be too harsh in the comment section on this video, if you comment anyway, which would be greatly appreciated. So yeah, that was it really. I just wanted to make a video after having a week of not actually creating anything. I missed it so much. <laughs> yeah, if you feel like seeing how I actually progress with this channel in the future, give me a sub. Give me a like if this video is even mediocre. Follow me on Twitch, that'll be in the description down below. Just so we can like have a chat on Twitch or something while I'm playing Ghost of Tsushima, trying to get platinum. Oh, I've missed playing that game so much. See, I saved that game for you guys, whoever's watching, even if it's just one person. I'm saving it for you. And that's all signed out for now. Cheers.